there's a calling for the development towards the roundness of being, which is calling for us to develop all of these bodies. So instead of like focusing on one and getting like super developed in one area of being, that then there's like a collection that brings on more and more areas of us. So instead of one a lot and some not at all, that then there's this call towards the roundness of being. And by roundness of being, I mean exactly that, that we are balanced in our development and we expand coherently between these different bodies of being. So of course there are many ways to do it, but I would say the main part we need to be aware of here is that instead of simply um, moving around as a point, there is an invitation to discover and integrate, discover and integrate, discover and integrate in these different directions so that you get all of these bodies basically coming online as a part of your awareness expanding into these different areas of your own being. So for instance, now you talk about the, uh, the emotional body and the emotional intelligence is something that you grow into and it's actually through practice. It really requires you to pay attention and to learn how to fuse your consciousness with your body. So it's something like your body as the feminine and your descending as consciousness, as the masculine to come down and actually come in to hold the feminine. This is a journey down through layers. So the thing is that each and every part of these different bodies, there is kind of like a map involved with the, the particular unfolding and the particular maturation of the consciousness in coherence with that body and the, and the bringing home of the space of that body. But particularly right now for you, since you mentioned this with the emotional body, we have a descending waiting to happen that, that stands with, there's a call to learn actually how to take care as love to learn how to descend into the ground as pure consciousness. So the pure consciousness calls for you to come without wanting to fix, without deeming yourself a problem, without trying to get rid of something, all of these things. You really have to come in as the neutrality of the unconditionality, which is the nature of your consciousness when it's not colored. Yeah. So the, the whole part of reaching acceptance and deeper acceptance and deeper acceptance of all of the way, all of the ways in which you can grow into yourself, all of the ways in which you can grow around this feeling and this feeling and this feeling. The way I like to speak about this is actually like, it's like the human being is like a piano. Yeah. There's a lot of different tones on it. So when you are descending right now, there's a particular amount of feelings that you are comfortable with. And then there are all of those feelings that you are not very comfortable with. And as consciousness, we need to go through the maturation process of losing the judgment, of losing the discomfort of being with a particular feeling and actually falling in love with that part of existence as well. To acknowledge that every everything that can pop up from that emotional body are simply voices. It's simply tones on that piano. 